And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who come in late, we are now having a little cooking session right here on the scene. Putting the pot on in here. And we'd like for you to join in with us and have a ball. Hi, this is Dara. Welcome to my Notion Masterclass. So I was making a video series about how to manage a large web project in Notion. And as I was going along, I realized that I was putting together a whole course. So, you know, it's pretty exciting uh, for me to do, and I hope that you guys all get something out of it. I've noticed that on my videos where I do actual walkthroughs, people seem to enjoy that more because um, if you're not sure how to build something in Notion, that can be the challenge. So just seeing what I've got isn't as helpful as seeing how I got there. Um, and with lar doing a large web project, you know, I want to show that that is something that's possible to do here. You can manage a full large scale web project within Notion. Um, so the video series is meant to watch in order. It does build one video upon the next. Uh, that being said, if you want to, you know, just dive right into a particular section and learn about that piece, you know, feel free. You will hear me reference things that have happened before, but, you know, it's a longer series, so, you know, do what you can. Um, so in this first video, I'm just going to talk about what you will see in the video series, and then you can dive in. So the first section I focused on was... The first section I focused on was the project administration section. Um, there's lots of things that, you know, project managers are going to want to put in the section, but I thought there were two pages that uh, I wanted to build out that I thought were important. So the first is the staff page. Um, right now in all of my projects, if we do have a section on our wiki that talks about the staff, it's really kind of abstracted from everything else we do. In fact, I don't think people even look at those pages to be honest I've heard people say oh I didn't realize we had a staff page you know two years into a project so you know this page it's it's going to be great because it's going to be connected to the system we're going to use the staff table to connect to actually assign members to project task we're going to also use this to allow for utilization metrics so how much time does someone actually have to spend on something um, and so that's key. So it's not just a table kind of in the abstract that gives contact information, but it's actually going to be tied into the things that we're doing in the project. The next space is about uh, meetings and, you know, setting up like a space to show what, what meetings do we have, um, the meeting minutes from those meetings, and as well as showing how much time individuals spend in particular meetings so that we know how to subtract that time from the time they actually have available to do work. Uh, an important thing that a lot of people do not consider when they are scheduling out their, their sprints. And by the way, I'm using a uh, sprint or agile metholo methodology for this, but a, a lot of what I'm setting up here, you could you can really run through any type of system. It could be um, even waterfall would work with the setup I have here. All right, the next set of video is about design thinking and you know having a place to house the, that early research that's done, you know, personas, uh, journey map or pathways, scenarios, those types of things, having a place to store them, but a place that's integrated and used. So it's not just something that we do at the beginning of our project and forget about. It. It's actually something that is tied in as we move through the steps of our project. After that, I get into the video series I do for building my agile um, project space. So that's the, the thing about Notion, like you're building the application that you want to use and that's the piece that could be hard for people to, to, to kind of climb over. Like they just see, oh, there's this open page, what I do with it. Um, I'm actually showing like this is how you can do, you know, sprint ceremonies or, you know, any kind of agile process ceremonies using Notion. And the last section is going to be about, or last video series is going to be about building your design library or pattern library. Um, building a library is, it's not easy, but having a good structure for your library is actually key to making it easier <laughs> to build and maintain a library. And I'm actually going to show it in, in, you know, using it in two ways so that the first is like the actual construction, making it sort of a project-based type of activity and then having that final wiki 
for users to use as they are um, you know continuing to build uh, within you know the, the web property um, and that being said like you know, design libraries are key to making sure you have consistency, you know, that this and they're I'm tying it into, you know, our agile process so that, you know, as we are designing and building the things, we are also documenting the things for future use. So that's going to be the whole series. It's it's, you know, several videos. I want to thank you all for watching. I really did enjoy making this series and I hope that you find it useful. Um, and on top of that, I have decided to go ahead and open a, open a Patreon account. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a little bit and this particular effort was quite large and I would, a support would be great to help me to continue to do more of these videos. So, you know, if you love this, you know, show your support by, you know, going on to Patreon and, and, you know, helping me out there. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and start the next